Hi everyone, it's Kelly and I'm here with the design team project for the rubberbuggy.com. The paper line that I used here was the Prima, um, let me check quick. Hello Pastel. I do not have my tripod so this is going to be a little bit shaky. I'm not sure where it got to. But a lot of times when I um, am using my papers, <clears throat> excuse me, I cut off a lot of pieces from here and there and I don't like to throw them out and you know as I've said in previous videos before, Generator, um, Jen at Generator 74, um, she's my like crafty buddy and she'll laugh at me because I go to her house and take all of her scraps of paper before she throws them away. So I have not really done a, <clears throat> excuse me, I haven't done what I should say like a video in succession of how to use your scraps, like um, a series. But I do like to come on here every once in a while and show you what I like to do with my scraps. So here is another really truly easy card that you can make using your scraps and this is my design team project for the rubber buggy a lot of our projects over there um, we do some cards and sometimes I can get all wackadoo crazy and I do a lot of stuff that's really busy but for this I decided that I wanted to keep it simple use up some of my scraps and make a really beautiful card for a friend that I have known for a very long time. I want to send her a card, tell her that I'm thinking of her. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you. Okay, again, the line that I used was the Hello Pastel. I did a basic um, four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. I added some glitter paper that I got at Michael's for like a quarter. It looks like this. You can't really see the glitter unless you um, shine it in the light. But then what I did was I took some of my scraps and I used a Sizzix die like this one. Uh, this is the... Um, let me see here. Circle Scallop die. And it looks like this. And I actually ordered this from Stampin' Up! But I think you can still get it from Sizzix. And if not, there are Spellbinders and other Sizzix frame dies that you can use. And so what I did was I took some of my scraps and I lined them up on the die so that they would cut five different pieces of paper that I could use to make this sort of um, quilted pattern for the frame. So it's really simple and you can use up your scraps and it's it's um, it's a very you know when you have um, the same paper line I keep saying um a lot, I'm sorry. When you have the same paper line, it just looks cohesive. So I added a Growing Memories title, and then I just put a couple of the flowers on the side. I know, I can't help myself, I love my flowers. So I just kind of threw them on the side, and that's my card. Like I said, it's not difficult. If you need a card in under 15 minutes, you can do this but again like I said it's not a series but if I had to do it it would be part of that series of how to, how to use up your scraps so it's getting late here I feel like I flubbed over my words tonight if you guys have any questions about what I'm saying how to use your scraps um, leave me a comment below or, you know, send me a message. I'd love to help you out if you're not sure how I might have done this. And if you like it, leave a comment. If you don't like it, leave a comment. Or you don't have to watch. <laughs> so, I'm going to head off to bed now. But thanks everybody for watching and I hope that you have a great day 
We had some storms here tonight. We're thinking and praying for everyone out there from Oklahoma and just keeping you all in our thoughts. So, um, love you guys. Love all my subbies. And I will chat you later. Bye-bye.